Hello everybody, this is Karnal and I welcome you again in our text. So in last video we have uh, interfaced the 7 segment display, it was the 4 digit 7 segment display. And in this video we are going to uh, interface 7 segment display with uh, the microcontroller and the keypad. So whatever the number we are gonna enter over here, it will show us on the 7 segment display. So for this I have connected all the pins this is an uh, common cathode uh, seven segment display and all the data pins are connected to port one and uh, this is a matrix keypad and uh, it has four rows and three columns and uh, this row is connected to 2.0 to second row is to 2.1 2.3 2.4 sorry 2.0 2.1 2.2 2.3 and C1 is connected to 2.4, 2.5 and 2.6. So we are going to uh, uh, interface this keypad with the 7 segment display. So let's design the program. So this is the as usual program we use. This is the delay function, this is error high, this is the main function. And uh, this is a hex value we are going to pass in the data lines. Hex values for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So let's do it. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, use the S bit register. So you know how, why to use S bit register. We use S bit register to give names to the pins. So I'm giving uh, R1 to the pin number 2.0. So this is for the 2.0, and same I'm going to do for the R2, R3, and R4. So just paste it. And change the numbers. And same we have to do for the C1, C2, and C3. So C1 is at 2.4, C2 is at 2.5. And C3 so we have named our pins R1, R2, R3, C1, C2, C3 now we are gonna make a function so I'll tell you why so first of all just uh, make this is our data line let's make it 0 for nothing just make it it's nothing gonna happen over there just make it zero or uh, ff if you will do the ff the, the all leds will go over there uh, and uh, we are using the p2 so make it ff always i make uh, actually it, it's uh, not uh, too much effective but uh, i always do for the output pins zero zero and for the input pins, I always keep it one. So we are using it as input pins. That's why I'm doing this. So it's not necessary actually, it's just I do it. So now uh, we have to make any one of these rows zero. So I have given whole rows as one so everything will appear as one over here so we have to make any one of these rows zero so let's make r1 the first row zero so what we are going to do we will uh, check uh, every condition first we will make it zero and then check which column is zero if you will press this button then this column will be zero if you press this button then this column will be zero so let's do it so make R1 equals to 0 and all other pins equals to 1. They are already 1 but still make it 1. Okay, now check the condition if r1 is 0 then you have to do whatever 
we I'm going to write in the, between these two brackets. So what we are going to do here, we will we made the R1 0 and then we will check the which column is 0. If we press any button, then one row and one column will become 0 and we have to check the which column it is. So let's make a function over here. So I'm going to make a function. You don't have to return anything over here. So just use the raw uh, void and give it a name as row 1. Uh, we're gonna use this for row 3, row 2, 3 and 4. That's why just copy and paste and give the names 2, 3 and 4. Now you are going to call row 1 over here, but let's define the row 1 before calling it. So we will define it over here. Let's define this function. So whenever you will paste this button, you have to check which column is zero. So check which column is zero. If C1 is equals to zero, then what we're gonna do? We're gonna print the number one. So send the data A of one if this is good then delay give it get some delay suppose give delay of 10 and same we are going to do for the column 2 and column 3 so let's do it if c2 equals to 0 then give 2 if c3 equals to 0 so now you have to call this you will call this over here whenever the r1 is 0 so call row 1 it will come when the r1 will be 0 it will come here it will check this condition if any one of these is 0 c1 c2 c3 then it will give that number to the port 1 this is the array it will take that command from this array and give it to the pin one and we know we have connected the p1 in the r display seven finger display so we will get our number so let's do this for uh, the first row and then we will see for others let's build this program we don't have any errors and warnings now let's see it works as exactly or not so dumb the program and run it now you can see there is a blue dot over here this shows that your r1 is 0 and all these pins are 1 so whenever when i will press any of this key that respected key will get 0 because it's a switch whenever i will press that switch that respected pin will get shot with this row and that will become 0 let's press it and you can see 1 over here and you can see there was 0 when I pressed it. See it again. There is view line. You can see here. Here it will blue dot will appear. That means there is it's got short with the first row and it's showing us the 1. Let's do for the second. Let's do for the third. Now here you can see as soon as I uh, as I press the button the display shows the number but in practically uh, we have to take care of the debouncing period of the buttons so what is debouncing period when you will press this button you it uh, counts the time when you release after that releasing you uh, see the number over here so for the debouncing we will make sure that uh, after pressing c1 you will delay, give some delay suppose delay of 10 we will ask the controller to wait until c1 becomes 0 so as c1 will change c1 will from 0 to 1 it keep giving us the delay over here same we will do for the rest of the keys c2 
and C3. Let's see what is the difference. Now uh, you will see as I will press this button, it won't show me the display until I release the button. So I pressed it, the blue line will appear here. See, blue dot is appeared, but the display is not on. But now I will release it, and you can see the display. Uh, the one number on this. Now see for this second one, the red dot is here, and it will become the zero. Nothing is on the display. Now it has changed. Same for the third. So you can see the difference. Now you you have to do this for row second, row third, and row fourth. So I have made a program over here. So I will save my time and just copy that program over here. This is the program. So I'll show you. R1 first I made R10 over here then I will make R20 then I will make R30 then I will make R40 then I will call these rules one by one so just copy this program uh, over here so first I made the R10, then I made R20, then R30, and then R40. And when I made that 0, I checked the condition and call the respected calling function. Now we have to make the calling function for row 2, row 3, and row 4. So same you have to do it. It was row 1. We just made. Now it's row 2. When C1 is equal to 0, we will send the 4. When C2 equals to 0, we will send the 5. When C3 equals to 0, we will send the 6. So, just copy the program from row 2, row 3, and row 4. Now, we are good to go. Let's build this program. There are no errors in warning. And just stop it and run it again and you can see the blue and red dots are continuously running over here they are keep checking the condition any one of these gets zero so let's give the first one zero and release it number will appear over there for second third five seven nine zero and i haven't given anything for star and has so there's nothing is to display over there, so and rest of the things are given. I think uh, this video will help you to understand the keypad matrix. And if you you like this video, if you learned something, then like this video and comment. If you have any kind of idea uh, query, I will try to solve it, solve your problems, and keep sharing my videos with your friends if they want to learn it and keep watching my videos and please subscribe for my channel thank you so much